Hello everyone and a very warm welcome to this video lecture series in which we are talking about neural networks and deep learning. So in the previous two video lectures we have talked about how to find the derivatives given that we have a function f of a. So in the previous video lectures what we have seen is we have computed basically the derivatives of two kinds of function. The first function was given to us in the form of a straight line and the significance of this function is the slope of the function is constant if you take any point on this function and the next function that we have seen is f of a equals to a square kind of type of a function where the slope of the function was different at different points on the curve now in this video lecture we are going to understand about a topic named as computation graphs and what this computation graphs does is basically in neural networks computation graphs is used to find the derivative okay so this is totally a new kind of a concept that you would study only in neural networks and deep learning so this computation graphs is basically made up of two types of propagations that is the forward propagation and the backward propagation and the forward propagation is used to find the output of the computation graph whereas the backward propagation is used to find the derivative of the computation graphs. These two things have to be seriously kept into mind while doing the computation graphs. So now let us look at a very simple example in order to study computations graph. Okay, so now let us suppose a function j of a comma b comma c. Why I am writing j of a comma b comma c because j is the name of the function and a b c are the variables through which this function has been made. Okay, so this function is three times of bracket a plus b into c. Okay, so this is the functions. Also, to study the computation graph, what we can also do is we can take the function of the logistic regression also, that is the cost function, where we have defined the cost function as j of w comma b. But as of now, to understand in the beginning uh, of computation graph, that function, the cost function of the logistic regression is quite a difficult function. And it would not be easy for you to understand the computation graph using that function. So I am taking this a very simple function that is j of a comma b comma c equal to three times of a plus b into c in brackets. Okay. So what we can see here in order to make a computation graph for this equation. Okay. We'll do some basic steps. Okay. So we can basically do here is that we can firstly represent this product b into c as u okay so u will be equal to b into c and then what we can do is we can take another variable as b v and we can assign it as a plus u so what this will become a plus since the value of u is b into c so this will become a equal to a plus b into c okay now again we, we what we can do is finally we have the output j in the form of three times of v because here this will become three times of v equal to three times of v is a plus u and then we will write three times of a plus b into c so these are the basic calculations that we need to you, uh, do okay before making the computation graph so now what we have we have three variables that is the variable a variable b and the third variable c and combining the two variables b and c we can have a new variable u as indicated here okay so let me change the color of my ink so it would be quite easy for you to understand okay using the variable b and c we can make a new variable u okay so we take the variables b and c and using these two variables we make a new variable u and the variable b, u is equal to b into c okay so i'll write this here now again what we can do we have now two variables variable a and variable u 
now combination of variable a and variable u gives us variable v so again we will combine these two variables that is variable a and variable u and this will give birth to a new variable v where value of v is a plus u i'll again represent this with a square box okay and now a variable v will ultimately give birth to a final output j and that is equal to three times of v okay so this is the way in which a computation graph is made for this equation that is j of a comma b comma c equal to three times of a plus b into c now we can assign the final output values as i have already told you that if we move in the forward direction then we can get the output of the computation graph so what will be the output of the computation graph the value of a is equal to suppose that i take the value of a as 5 the value of b as 3 and the value of c as 2 okay so u will be equal to b into c that is equal to 6 okay now v will be equal to a plus u that is 5 plus 6 and v will be equal to 11 and ultimately getting the final output that is j equal to 3 times of 11 so j will be equal to 33 okay so this is my final output so what we have done basically we have moved from left to right and while moving from left to right we have got our final output that is equal to 33 okay and you can also solve this using this equation okay so it is three times of what is the value of a a is 5 plus b into c b is 3 and c is 2 so this will become 3 times of 5 plus 3 into 2 is 6 that is equals to 3 times of 11 which is equal to 33 to so ultimately we have got the same output whether we solve using this equation or whether we solve this using the computation graph but the thing has to be noticed it is that in computation graph we are moving from left to right direction and therefore we are getting the final output of this computation graph but if we move from right to left then we will achieve the derivative okay so this is the further step that we are going to discuss in the next video lecture so i hope this computation graph has been much easier for you to understand thanks for watching this video lecture i hope this video lecture would have been very much informative to you so if your friends are working on this domain on neural networks and deep learning so kindly share my video lectures with them also i hope to make more and more such video lectures that would be easy for you to understand Thank you once once again.